Hi guys, my name is Zin and uh, this is Maybe Bonsai. Um, today I'm going to start with a general cleanup on this uh, ficus, uh, I think it was Benjamina. It's a variegated ficus Benjamina that I potted to make it a clump style bonsai. Um, it's been in this pot for about, I think, two months now um, or something like that. I'm not 100% sure. And it's settled down for sure. So I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup on the leaves at the bottom and the, just the debris and I'll probably remove the rock and maybe do a little bit of a, uh, a pruning. So let's get that started. Alright, so I'm going to take this rock off. I think I've had it here to make sure it's stable and uh, it's grown in now so it doesn't need the uh, rock anymore. Um, there's roots. Coming out of the bottom, just a little bit of roots. And then I can see a couple of surface roots that you probably cannot see from the camera. And yeah, there's actually a, a big surface root right here. Quite, uh, I mean, not big, but very large comparing to the uh, size of the plant. So I'm going to clean up the bottom a bit first. There's some leaves getting caught in the middle, going into the, uh, the tree. Actually, I'm going to cut it from this side. There it goes. And I got this branch right over here that's uh, not really growing in a good direction. Um, I'm not sure how close you can see this. But it's kind of going into the tree. So I'm going to get rid of that. Um, so this root over here is actually coming over the, um, what do you call this, my, my, my tie, I guess, um, my, my bound. And I, I don't see a problem with it right now, um, but maybe in the future it might become a problem as it gets bigger. <laughs> uh, it might be hard to get the wire out. I'm, I'm not 100% sure what's going to happen with that. But th I think for now, I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to do anything with it. The leaves here. And this, uh, I've been leaving this inside of the aquarium uh, ever since I repotted it. It looks like it's pretty healthy. Um, the leaf size is a bit large, but there's nothing I can do about that right now. I put this here just to kind of space it out so that it grows outwards. And it kind of has, it kind of worked because this one is, it was all, you know, more towards the middle before, but now it's coming out to the side. And I don't know how long it's going to take for this to uh, fuse together. For now, I'm just going to remove some of the debris in between the trees so that when it fuses it's going to fuse correctly and uh, I don't want anything in the middle to kind of stop the fusing or I don't want soil to get fused into it Yeah, I think if I'd done a better job at uh, potting it, I wouldn't have this problem right now. But overall, I'm pretty happy with the progress of it. You know, for now, as long as it's alive and it's growing, I'm happy. <laughs> Not really that high of a requirement. 
I think there's a lot of roots growing in the middle. Yeah, I think that's good for now. As far as I can tell, all the branches are growing outwards now. There's nothing going in the middle. At the bottom, at least, the top, I think I'm gonna leave it for now. can't tell if these are moss or roots. Stuff growing. Yeah, okay, I think I'll leave it like that. This branch is kind of bending towards that side. Um, this one, I want to come out. So that might be okay. I might eventually end up wiring this just to get it into the right direction, um, but uh, I don't really want to do it now. Uh, mainly because it's, it's just, I only potted this not so long ago, so I'm gonna wait until it gets more uh, bigger. It grows a bit more. Actually, this big leaf here I'm going to get rid of. It's kind of covering this leaf here. It's going to a really weird direction. It should really be doing that, but I'm sure it's because of the, uh, the light and the position of the tree, so that it's crooked, and it's kind of blocking the uh, new the new uh, growth on the branch behind it. So I'm going to get rid of this leaf. Same kind of deal with this. As you can see, it's kind of crooked, but that's a new leaf, so I'm not going to touch that for now. I'm gonna clean this up. So I'm definitely gonna rotate this a bit when I put it back in the aquarium so that it's not going to the because so that the tree can go different different directions. Um, this main tree, I would say this is the, probably the tallest, the strongest. It definitely has the thickest trunk. Uh, it's going straight up, even though I had the, uh, the water uh, watering cap in between, it just pushed the small ones aside and, and the big one, I guess, is too strong so it doesn't, didn't get pushed. Um, is it a problem that it's going straight? Not really, although I would like it to do that. So I can actually see the other tree behind it. Uh, I can almost just bend it a little. It'll go this way already. I'm going to remove this leaf that's growing in the wrong direction. And I think I'm going to get rid of this leaf. This particular branch might become a problem in the, in the future because it's growing inwards. But I'm not going to touch it right now. I'll let it grow a bit and see where it goes. I kind of want to take off um, a bit off the top uh, because it's actually reaching the top of the aquarium. Uh, but I don't, I don't really have to. I don't know if I want to. I think for now I'm going to take off this branch here. 
it's kind of growing towards the other tree, although, you know, that's... Uh, hmm. If I take this off, I will have this and that. That's the new leader going that way, which is fine. Um, but the middle might be a bit empty. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what to do with that for now. Uh, I think for now, I'm just going to reduce this branch instead so it doesn't overlap the other side. I'll cut it, reduce it to the first leaf, a bit higher, room for dieback. Yeah, I, th I think that's I think that's good for now. I don't I don't need to do anything else. Um, I think when the summer comes, or even the spring, uh, basically when I when I move this outside, I'm thinking of losing this a little bit because uh, these ficus grow quite fast. Uh, even the ones I have in the aquarium, the trunk has gotten a lot thicker uh, after I got it. So I think in the summer this will kind of thicken up quite fast. With the sun and the uh, you know the hot weather, so I think before I, or before you know before I take it out, I'm going to uh, loosen the grip on this and then and then probably retie it, so it has more room to fuse. And maybe maybe then I can fix that root that's outside of the wire. Yeah, uh, I think that's the plan for now. Um, Yeah, put that back. This moss is not really growing. It's, just, it's I mean, it's turning green, but then, you know, going back to brown. I don't miss them. I don't. I guess I don't miss it enough. It's quite humid in the aquarium, anyways. So you know, I miss it every probably a couple times a day. Uh, so I think I think this is good for now. And when once the summer comes, like, I'll uh, I'll do more work on it. Yeah. Okay. So. That's it for this one, I'm gonna put this back. All right, I'm just gonna do a quick update on the uh, variegated dwarf Shapilera. Uh, it's being this tiny pot, this yogurt pot uh, in the aquarium. It's growing quite slow, but it's growing for sure. The roots are coming on the bottom, which I'm gonna just pinch off for now. And I'm going to prune this back, uh, kind of like kind of like what I did with the other dwarf uh, regular dwarf chiflera, so I could get some more uh, branch development at the top. So this whole top, I think, is gonna go. The trunk, it's uh, it's kind of a little tiny bit of curve. Again, not much I can do about that for now. But the the sides, it's kind of good. It's going from thick to thin. So I think what I'll do, there's actually a, a tiny bud right over there. Uh, it's, it's very, very small, but it's, it's definitely there. And then there's a bud on this side as well. And we'll get the camera so that you can see it closer. So there's a bud right there. And I believe There's one right there in the middle. So if I take the top off, I'm hoping those two will develop. All right, so this is gonna be a quick cut. It's a fairly large cut because it's gonna take 90% uh, of the leaves away. But I think it's fine. It'll be fine. I'm thinking of leaving that on. I'll leave that on and take the top like that. So. 
Uh, no, I'm not too soft. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going <laughs> to take the whole top off. And basically leave a, leave a stick in the in the pot <laughs> and let the, the, the buds grow. So yeah, that's, uh, that's it. Uh, I'm going to put it back, give it a little bit of water, and uh, wait for it to grow. <laughs> Oh yeah, and the uh, other chiffleur that I could that I had cuttings for it, uh, it all rooted. It, it's starting to grow now. Um, you know, small small leaves. Um, so that's that's great. So I guess these are very easy to root, and uh, very hard to kill, which is perfect for me. <laughs> all right. So last up today is again the silk tree. As you can see, it has grown a lot since uh, I cut the top off last time, and. Uh, it just seems unstoppable right now. It it just goes. Uh, I wanted to get the lower branch um, more vigor, uh, but it kind of worked because because you know before it was really small, but now it actually came out. Um, but but you can see the leaf size are really really small right now, and the branch is also very small. And I just can't seem to redirect the vigor down. <laughs> uh, it just wants to grow tall and uh, grow up. Which, I mean, it's good because it's growing. It's growing really fast. I like fast growing trees because, you know, you can, it's more satisfying than watching the progress. Uh, but this, it's uh, not growing in the direction that I wanted to. <laughs> um, and I'm seeing some leaf yellowing. I don't, I don't know what that's about. Um, you know, I have no idea why it's happening. I've been watering it. Um, and then this, this, the, the branch at the bottom is kind of, the leaves are kind of, you know, yellowing, not yellowing, but kind of yellowing. Um, just not, uh, not that vigorous at the bottom. And because it's at the, the, uh, it's sitting at the, uh, the window, sometimes if I leave it in one direction, like in one spot, in one position, the leaves are all kind of flip over and you know look towards the window um so i think today i'm gonna have to do another quite jurassic pruning just to try again to get more energy to the bottom of the tree um, so i mean the top is growing really straight like it's no curves at all you know i'm, I'm glad the bottom is there's a curve a natural curve without wires to it and then the top right now is just straight straight uh you know no 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 nothing so first thing i'm going to do i think i will remove the entire top um right here there's the leader going up and then there's a side branch coming out of the exact same spot it's kind of getting bulgy right now. Um, but I think I'm, I was going to remove that whole top anyway. So. Yeah. So let's, let's remove the top first. A lot of, a lot of leaves. There it goes. <laughs> I'm not sure how easy these root, uh, but I think this is so so green that it might actually be harder to root. I, I, I don't I don't know. I tried to root the other small cuttings, but it never worked. But but it was probably because it's too small. This one's quite good size, but uh, whatever. These grow so fast, I could always try later. But yeah, if you if you know how these grow, so if I can root these or how to root these, you know, let me know in the comments. So I don't know if I should leave this one on or not. There's a tiny bite over here, just like a little green dot. I don't know if that's gonna grow or not, but I'm gonna cut it towards that. I need, to, I just need to reduce the top as much as I can. I think I'm gonna do a cut right here. Get rid of that whole top. That might have been a bit too sharp. 
They might have killed his branch. Uh, I don't know, but yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna take the whole thing off. I don't know why I left it there. Don't need it. So we'll see where this goes. Maybe this will come. Now even the tip of this one is kind of yellowing. I don't know why. Uh, take that back a bit more. I'm not sure how these uh, sun tree grows. Like the branch just has leaves coming off of it. I'm not sure if there's going to be more branching coming off of this, or is this more like a like a leaf type of growth? I, I don't know. So I'll prune it back and I guess I'll find out uh, in a few weeks. So what I'll do is I'm going to take this back to the second set of leaves. And uh, this branch is going into a uh, weird spot. It's supposed to be coming out of here going that way, except there's a branch going towards the right. It's going to be crossing into the tree. It's just a very strange direction altogether. I'm just going to get rid of it. Okay. So we'll see how the tree uh, respond to the, uh, the pruning. You know, pretty much 50% of the tree is gone. I really hope that the bottom is gonna start gaining more energy and uh, pushing out growth. And you know, the top can, uh, can calm down a bit. It's a bit too excited. Um, you know what, this, this branch, same, same kind of deal. Growing right into the trunk. I'm gonna get rid of that. Okay. This one is kind of going to the wrong direction as well, but, uh, but the direction that it originally grew from, it's it should be fine. So I just have to uh, position the uh, the pot differently at the window so that it goes the other way. It's a bit tricky in the winter, you know. Like I have to, I, I always rotate this every a day or two just so it doesn't get out of control. Um, but sometimes I forget, and then you get the the direction going randomly. So yeah, I mean these, you know, I see like yellowing on the leaves here. Um, they're like little dots. I don't think it's the insects because I don't see I don't see anything moving. But uh, I'll get a close up. Maybe somebody knows better can uh, can let me know, please. So here we go. Yeah, these uh, yellow dots or whatever it is. Um, I don't know what it is. I don't think it's insects, because I don't see I don't see moving parts, but maybe it is. Um, if you know, please let me know. So with the silk tree all pruned up, um, that's going to be it for today. Thank you for watching, guys.